The citation for your AM Turing Award is, and I'm quoting, for inventing and promulgating both asymmetric public key cryptography, including its application to digital signatures, and a practical cryptographic key exchange method. What is public key cryptography, and why is it so important? Um, the paradigm of conventional cryptography is that you and I share a small amount of secret information, we call the key, a few hundred bits, and that we can use that to protect gigabits of information. Um, the problem with that is that we have, in some sense, already to know each other fairly well. We don't literally have to know each other, but we have to be within a structure that can, tra the keys are secret, and so something has to convey the same key to you and to me uh, securely uh, before we can use cryptography in our communications. And so the way, this works fine in DOD. DOD is a very large organization, has more than a million employees, but it has a very rigid structure and everybody knows what it is. Now the trouble is that does not suit the world we were going into. So if you look, that would not be at all good for the internet, in which what is so wonderful is the people with no connection to each other. They don't know each other, and they don't have any national connection, any business connection, etc. They find each other and begin doing business. So public key cryptography is a scheme whereby, and this is not how I originally conceived of it, but this viewpoint is very is very important now and it's what underlies the Diffie-Hellman Merkel Williams key exchange mechanism. Um, two of us can negotiate in public and everything we say is heard by all of the observers. But at the end of our negotiation we come up with a secret that both of us know and none of the observers know. And that is that underlies the big internet security mechanism, which is called transport layer security, in which I, as a client, call a server somewhere, and we enter into a negotiation that ends up with a cryptographic key that's in, then used to protect all of our communications between ourselves. So without public key cryptography, you couldn't do this without building a whole lot of centralized infrastructure that would amount to the world having to trust something. You know, the UN, the Swiss banks, the American Express, there, there are candidates for doing it, right? But it makes it much easier. Security is the science of minimizing trust. And public key cryptography made a great contribution to minimizing the trust among, among people. I began thinking about uh, electronic offices. And what I didn't see was what you would do to take for signatures in an electronic office. Because we depend, written signatures depend on their uniqueness for their virtues, and digital documents are always perfectly reproducible. So I didn't see, I didn't see how you could have a digital signature, and I didn't see how you could run an office without signed memos, signed checks, signed directives, etc. <clears throat> so I began thinking about that. And in the spring of 1975, I couldn't, I wasn't having a lot of success. Eventually I realized that this, I came to what are now called digital signatures. I thought the mere fact that you could recognize a correct solution to a problem, which the password acceptor could do, doesn't mean you could solve the problem. And so you could sign something because a problem would come to you and you would solve it and send them the answer and they could recognize the answer as having solved their problem even though they couldn't solve the problem themselves. And I, I thought about various things one might to do to do that and about a week later, and I've sadly at least so far lost the exact date because I was keeping my log of my work on the AI lab computer. And for the first time I realized I'd done something that was really important and I knew the log, the log on the computer wasn't secure, so I didn't enter it in that log. It may be on a piece of paper somewhere. And I realized you could turn that around and use that system uh, to, 
to establish communication, but people and people had no, no prior contact with each other. So that's not the same viewpoint as is involved in Diffie Hellman, Merkel Williams key negotiation, but it does achieve the same thing, uh, which is that you have a, a public key that you can list in a telephone book, and I look it up and I want to send you a message, and I use that key, and I can crypt using that key, but I can't decrypt the results. Only you can decrypt the results.